Good evening, everyone. Hello. Allow me, please. Allow me, please, to introduce. Allow me, please, to introduce. I am Professor Filip Filopovich Preobazhensky. You call me Phil. No, actually, probably best for you to call me Professor. I live in an apartment in Moscow, in Russia. Okay, until recently, I live alone. Now, I have a dog, okay? Yes, I have a dog. I, I am a noted surgeon, noted surgeon, I hope you observe this, I am a noted surgeon with passion for research. Some people think my work is insalubrious. Those people, those people don't understand, okay? Those that do understand my work, and you could learn to understand my work if you like, they have great need of its benefits and they are grateful. Very, very grateful indeed. These people you see, ladies and gentlemen, I rejuvenate the reproductive organs of the, the, rather, more, uh, the rather more desperate than the deserving, you know? The, 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 the aging Rue, yes, you, sir. The aging Rue down there who wants the vitality of his uh, youthful hedonism, okay? Lonely matron, lonely matron who wants young lover. Or bureaucrat, bureaucrat who wants to restore the virginity of poor innocent he has violated. I take pity on them. These people, like dogs, spend much of their time in gutter of despair. So what do I do? I take in a dog. My dog, he is called Sharik. I think the Sharik, it roughly translates to mean um, spot. You know, it's a very common name for a dog, yes? I find Spot out in cold, freezing and starving in the snow. So I lure Spot, Sherik, into my flat with very big, very tasty sausage. He soon learn to appreciate the benefits I have to offer. Yes, a nice food, warm place to sleep and medical care. He come to think of me as his master, yes, you know. He come to think of me as someone in whom he can place his unquestioning trust. You may ask, well, he, he has a warm heart, the heart of a dog. He know and understand the plight of many other poor dogs like himself, and he know that it is important for a dog to fawn over his master. What do I give him in return for his unquestioning loyalty, you may ask? Testicles. I give him I give him the testicles and pituitary gland of a dead criminal, yes? Not, not for his dinner. I, I transplant them into his body and I hope he will survive operation and the experiment will yield the valuable results. At first, he flourish, okay? He take on the human qualities, you know, and characteristics. He learn to walk on his back legs, on his two legs, all the fur fall from his body, and he starts to talk rubbish. He even give himself name, Polygraf Polygrafovich Sharikov. He named himself after a medical instrument he see on calendar. And then he start to disobey me. The bad boy. He, he make a friend in my building. He make a friend in my building. A friend by the name of Schwonda, young ideologue, committed communist and chairman of housing committee. Schwonda helped him to get official papers and even get a job at the local Soviet ministry. Sharik even find himself a girlfriend there. Schwonda taught Sharik all how to be such a good citizen of state. And then Sharik, Sharik start to inform on me and report my anti-revolutionary uh, comments and remarks. I am so appalled by the transformation of Sherik. His obnoxious behavior showed to me that he no longer had the heart of a dog, but the heart of a criminal. He learned very bad things from Shonda, very bad habits. His views have become very polarized. Now I order Sherik to get out of my flat, and when I do, we break out into a fight. I managed to subdue Sharik 
and with the aid of my assistant, Dr. Bormenthal, who you can visit, by the way, if you come to my laboratory, we manage to subdue Sharik and replant his organs, his original organs. Pretty soon, Polygraph, Polygraph, Polygraphovich Sharikov turned back into Sharik. He's a good boy now. Now, when that horrible, horrible Sharov come looking for Sharik, for his friend, he will find only dog. A pretty funny looking dog, I have to admit, but a dog nonetheless. So please, ladies and gentlemen, not to vote me from this balloon, because if you vote me from the balloon, who will look after Sharik? Спасибо. До свидания.